Hello ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls and whatever else is watching. My name is Nick and we are playing once more Dragon Quest Builders for the Nintendo Switch. Previously um, I did a side quest where I got a new villager Splatrick. I also had a little bit more fun with the Wrecking Balls and I also got myself some materials to upgrade my wall. There is no enemy in this chapter that will ever get through those. And no, it's... Oh god, LaRouche, what did I do? What did I do? Yeah, I also had... Um... Ooh, LaRouche. <laughs> yeah, I had a uh, Naughty Nightlight installed in uh, a couple of places and that means that the men are running around in a loincloth and well, the women are covered a little bit more with a scandalous swimsuit. Today, what are we gonna do? Well, first off, I was actually thinking about tackling the chapter challenges we already did one by uh, repairing the graveyard and also one by increasing the base to level 5 to max level we also did one by having over a hundred and fifty different items obtained in this chapter And so I thought, let's tackle the rest. One of them is battling the three dragons. We have seen one previously. That one was, well, over that mountain range. And to assist me with that, I'm gonna bring along these guys I do want to keep the spikes here though okay so now I'm gonna hop over they're gonna run on the spikes aren't they yeah they did Okay, um, I'm gonna hop, uh, uh, hop over the mountain to, to face the dragon. Well, I'm back over this mountain, uh, this play to fight him over there. We came across him uh, earlier in this chapter already and uh, I placed two torches in, well, in the distance and this was my makeshift uh, or trying to make a makeshift little room to sleep here but uh, that didn't work so let's fight this dragon shall we the nice thing about dragons is that you can also fight them with fire place it here and he's not waking up He is not waking up. Are you kidding me? He is not waking up from that. I'm going to kill him in his sleep. Oh, that would be cruel. So, at least wake him up, shall we? Hello. Yeah, do the dance. Hit him in the head, he's weakest, but... Oh. It would be good to also equip my armor. Um, he has two attacks. One is fire breath. The other one is swiping around. Seriously, this, this was way too easy. He did not wake up! Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, he drops, 
The prize you get is a comfy sofa. Um, no, not items. It gives 500 points and can be set on. It functions pretty much the same as a as a bench. Um, okay, now I'm going to sleep. And then I will meet you, well, near the next dragon. The next dragon we see over there in the distance. I am back here. We're at Kentlin Castle, where we got our plans for the steel stockade. And a little further in, towards yeah, inland, or uh, in that direction is the teleportal where we came from and a little bit further beyond this castle, there we can see our next dragon that we have to fight. So let's get at him. I like the featherfall food uh, footwear because I can jump from very high and not get hurt. Okay, let's see where can I place. I guess when I got. Uh, oh, when I set, uh, got right in front of the dude was when I actually got hurt or when he would wake up and you get lost so if I would were to place my statue next one over there and now let's wake him up shall we ouch yeah burn baby burn I would say ouch and I kind of forget oh without I can definitely say without these statues ouch I think there are too many people around me to not be defended very well. I'm gonna deal with you first. Yeah, without uh, these statues, those dragons make a lot more of a mess here. I have had fights where I dug a hole into the mountain as deep as that part over there. Just fighting that darn dragon. And this dragon drops a fireplace. Which is also 500 points. And it can serve as a light source. Or did I already mention that? Oh well, if I mentioned it, it warrants to be to mention it again. Oh, there's my... Uh, I was wondering, where did it go? And yeah, this is then pretty much the end also of this island, of the Hammerhood Heights. It's beyond the blue terror portal and... Uh, there we can actually see the pyramid where we got those two Id idols, statues, those evil idols. Okay, I think I'm going to head home again and... Oh, you are way too off. Not to be a block. Yeah, I knew it. And time to get out of here. Oh, I already had a fireplace from somewhere. I think it was the uh, pyramid that I got that one. 
Ow! Would you mind? I'm going to bed now. Then I will fight the, uh, the next dragon. You get a comfy couch and a fireplace. With uh, slaying these dragons you can probably get a uh, decent uh, living room set up somewhere. Uh, the next one is... Well... This one, I think. Yep, that one. In Dandara Desert. And for that I have to go all the way beyond past those mountains. I'll see you there. I am now on top of the uh, mountain range uh, in Damdara. Uh, here is the desert, that's where we got uh, Magnus from and in the distance we saw there that's the where we uh, met the brownie that gave us the hammerhood recipe. To find our next dragon we will have to go in that direction. Through the forest, beyond the mountain, and we will eventually end up near a clearing. Hey, this is interesting. Have we ever seen... Have I ever seen something like this? Ooh, there's a lot of iron and uh, copper if you still need some. And I guess also some coal. Yeah, you, this place is good for mining, I guess. Whoa, what do we have? And there is also a cave? Yeah, I probably this is the place where you need to go for mining. Some more mining. But I think we have sufficient. Okay, there is our next dragon. Oh. Let's get our gear equipped again and grab our evil idols ouch and roast the dragon in his sleep but this time i'm gonna be a little bit nicer and just wake him up and also try to fight him and hopefully not get burned and not get slammed. Yeah, usually the dance is he does either burn, then twirl, a spin attack, and then burn again. Spin attack. Oh. That doesn't look like something comfy for a living room. No, as a matter of fact, that is actually another accessory. Dragon scale. A protective pendant shaped from a serpent's scale. It gives plus five defense. However, this does share a slot with the featherfall boots and the Talaria. I cannot equip it. At this moment, I need to either unequip the featherfall boots and then equip the dragon skill or the Talaria. At this moment, I am keeping um, keeping it like this. Uh, the dragon skill will be useful for the final battle or when we do battle, because then the featherfall boots uh, is pretty much useless. Oh, this is, this is a lot larger than I am used to. Haven't I uh, explored the PlayStation 4 version? I thought the PlayStation 4 version kind of has the mountain range going all the way around it. 
this is actually really interesting. And there are a lot of mushrooms here. Which you can turn into shrooms on a stick. Which is good for food. And I do have to try to get that faceplate again. One day. Yeah, before the final battle, I will try to uh, grind on those uh, knights again. But this is really interesting. Huh. You see, this game can still surprise someone. Okay, so now it's time to get going. Grab myself a chimera ring and let's head back to base. With that, having slain these dra three dragons, you pro would probably uh, think. Okay, next up we have to go to the Rockbound Ravine. And... Ah, that's the outfit the ladies are wearing. And slay the last and final dragon. Actually, no. There is no fourth and final dragon. Well, the final dragon was the third dragon that we just have slain. And with that, we have completed a chapter challenge. Slay the three dragons, or defeat the three, three dra dragons. And because it is getting late, um, I will do the next chapter challenge in a while, um, when it is morning. Uh, first I'm gonna put back these guys. And this is why you actually plant those guys before you uh, do do uh, make the walls in the blueprint because otherwise you will have to remove a bit of that wall of course would you mind Can Elm, you're a little bit late. Oh well, he still fights that one. That allows me to... Go to sleep. Magnus? You're still awake? Okay. Okay, with that done, we have one chapter challenge still to go. This chapter challenge involves creating a, well, a Kentlin garden. For creating a Kentlin garden, I need five grass plants. I need... 10 flowers I need one plumberry tree I need one brazier but I will be using both of them and I will need one bench. To top it all off, I also need eight blocks of water. Water in this game is weird. You don't actually have a good source of water, at least not in this chapter. And water can only exist from a specific level. 
water can uh, only happen if you create let, let me put it this way if I were to create a empty space here it will be empty but as soon as I break this brick water will fill up empty blocks next to it and water can only exist on this level it can never go higher and lower will always fill up towards this level so in order to build our final chapter challenge we will need to have eight blocks of water now you don't have to make a room directly um directly how it yeah words in our town not not directly in our town you can also build a room out here so you look for but if you well trees cannot grow out here so you would need to look for a body of water with a tree next to it that can uh, where you can put create a room as we have seen we've created the uh, empty rooms all over the place where we put in a single bed however I am going to try to channel uh, or to channel this water over to that deep room that I created a while ago in our base or in town I do have to dig a tunnel though which also leaves my town a little bit more vulnerable and oh boy I wish water wasn't this weird or we had a uh, water crystal block because water crystal blocks actually create water and great I'm back here again well I'm at least on the road towards my town <sighs> yep, I'm still in the right direction. That's a whole lot of dirt I'm getting. I am going to have to clog up a lot. Let's see. Oh, I'm way past it already. I have to go in here somewhere. Okay. Well, here we are. Back at my base. And let's see if I don't want to harm too much. Ouch, I harmed way too much. I need eight blocks of water and let's put back the dirt <gasps> that's way too much Nick okay I've got eight blocks of water in here I also crap Let's put this back here again. Okay, I now need items. Let's see. Oh, I have to put something back. Let's put the earth here and I need 
my brick wall because... <sighs> Come on, Nick. Hit the right button, will ya? Let's break up the wall again. Yes. Okay, and now I can at least make it so that... Well... No enemy is going to try to use this... To use this bit for... Uh, well... Getting into my base. And this is the awkward part. Is... Oh man, the camera, I really hate that. I filled up all the way back to the sea again, uh, got my water over here and as you've probably noticed I've been digging a hole in this area for quite a while. Uh, it's been a, a while since I did it and I, it was explicitly to create this Cantlin garden. Of course now I have these three ugly blocks here that have no grass. Because I cut the grass. If you want to return the grass, you just have to kill a bunch of drakis in order to get some grass seeds. And if you do that, you can, well, just like flooring, add grass to your blocks. So now it's time to make the rest of the garden. Uh, let's put the tree over here, have the bench, mm, let's say, put it over here, have one, that's an empty room, not a brazier over there, I have to place five grass, but, oh yeah, I will also have to place 10 flowers. Milk blossom buds, you can get them from, well, from the slimes. They are rare drops, but they do drop frequent enough. But uh, usually you get blue goo. But blue slimes also drop the milk blossom buds. Drakis that also drop the grass seeds drop also the coral lily buds where you get the pink flowers. The cheese slimes, those orange ones, they will give you the. Yeah, uh, how do we say it? The Defo Daisy buds. That's where you can get those from. Uh, let's see. I think I'm gonna put. You have to stand on top of it, I think. Yeah. That's one over there. One over there. That's one and there. And this turns into a flower garden, which we've already seen before, when I created that hothouse. Um, I have now about... Eight or so... Okay, and that makes 10 flowers. I will still be putting some additional flowers here, uh, which would be a nice place to pl put one, I think there. And one over here. Now I have to put in five grass. I'll just place them anywhere. These you don't have seeds for, so you will have to dig them up. Uh, with a shovel. Okay, so this is now a botanical garden. Now I just have to wait until this little tree grows up before it becomes a Cantlin garden. 
And then I have completed another chapter challenge. Um, I don't know when you get to uh, who tells you the what the Cantling Garden is made of. Personally, I always had to uh, look up look it up on the internet to see what uh, what makes the Cantling Garden. But apparently, someone tells you here. I think. I thought I read once that Magnus was the one that tells you about the Kentling Garden. But I'm not too sure about that one. At least I always had to look it up on the internet. Uh, this tree is not fully grown yet, so that's why this is still a botanical garden. With an HP plus one. Automatic recovery effect. But if we are going to bed once more, that tree should now be completed. And I built my first Cantlin garden. It takes one bench, 10 flowers, 5 plants, 8 blocks of water, a plumberry tree and a brazier. This garden is created because in the original game, Dragon Quest, built in Dragon Quest, the city of Cantlin had at its center a water park uh, area as well, with some flowers and a tree in the center of it. However, we have a flag here at the center, so I couldn't really put it down there. Although, also, this Cantling Garden gives now a plus two on automatic HP recovery. I do not dare say for certain if this stacks with the botanical garden I have there, but yeah. At least, yeah, I put it here because I could make it in the center over here, but I would have to dig underneath the flag. It does fit, but that it would re look really weird with the uh, with tree and everything. So yeah, that's why I put it over there. And now that I have this, I think I can fill in some remaining grass. Oops. Oh well. I will have to get some grass anyway. Um, this would be a good place. Yeah, this would also be a good place. I still have to get some more grass seeds to fill it up. Because I am trying to get every earth block or earth block becoming grass with that having built the cantling garden and slain the three dragons yeah i know obsidian is way too tough i have now completed all the chapter challenges And this is also where I'm gonna conclude this episode. I thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like if you did, leave a dislike if you didn't. But please also tell me what I could improve in the future. I thank you all for watching and I hope to see you next time. Bye!